Hi everyone. Today we're going to discuss the following problem. If we have a, a function of two variables defined in this way, we're asked to calculate the so-called directional derivative, denoted by this. The directional derivative of f in the direction of this vector and then we're asked to use that information to calculate the directional derivative at a particular point p. So how do we do it? What does it mean? Well, I'm just going to start by saying that this directional derivative is a generalization of partial derivatives of f. Okay? And they're generalizations because they allow us to look at the, the uh, change in f in any particular direction. Okay? So let's do the problem and then I'll talk a little bit more about um, the interpretation at the end. One important thing here, note this is not a unit vector, where, whereas this is a unit vector. And I'll talk about why that's important at the end. Okay, so, by definition, our directional derivative of f in the direction of u is just the dot product. Now, you can have other representations, but the dot product is the easiest and probably the most effective way in the in computing these things. So here we have what's known as the gradient of f dotted with u hat. Now u hat is a vector that has length 1, a unit vector. And this grad f is defined in the following way. It's a vector function with partial derivatives okay as the components okay so let's work out what this is then find the unit vector from the given vector and we'll um, do our calculations all right so firstly grad f it's just df dx comma df dy. So df dx here is going to be minus x. df dy is going to be minus y cubed. Now, we can produce a unit vector by taking the original vector and multiplying by 1 divided by its length. Okay, now remember to get the length of a vector, you take each component, square it, add, add the parts together, and take the square root. So in this case, we're going to get something a little like this. Okay. All right, so let's just take the dot product of this and this, and we'll have our directional derivative of f in the direction of this vector here at any point, x, comma, y. Okay, so it is the following dot product. Okay, so you just multiply the, the corresponding components together and add everything. So we get something like this. Okay. Alright, so now we're asked to calculate the directional derivative of f in the direction u at this particular point. So all we do is we substitute in x equals 1, y equals 2 in here. And we'll get something like minus 9 on root 2 at the point P. 
All right, so we've got an answer here. What does it mean? Well, the directional derivative, um, geometrically speaking, in this particular case, would measure the slope of a tangent line to the surface uh, z equals f. Now that tangent line lies in a, in a vertical plane, and that vertical plane contains this vector and the point 1, 2, comma, f of 1, 2. Okay? Now you may be thinking, well, hang on, what? we've got a vector here, but why do, we, why do we move to a unit vector over here? Well, the directional derivative of f in the direction of a, of a given vector u measures the change in f per, per unit change in the direction of u. Okay, and this is one of the reasons why we use a unit vector. If it wasn't a unit vector here, it would not be um, per unit change, okay, in the direction of u. Um, like I said at the beginning, this directional derivative is a generalization of partial derivatives. 